Good morning, good morning, brothers and sisters. Top of the morning. <clears throat> As the five God, shout out to him, we we'll say. First and foremost, as always, we give a shout out to the Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. He's the Lord of my life. Shout out to you, too, for another opportunity to share. Quick video. Let me turn this light on so you can see me a little bit more and everything. Um, I just want to say this quick video about the Lakers. Just like I did a short video. Um, yeah, I was on it. I was faithful until the very end. I wasn't one of those fans that walked out and everything and i didn't mind you i didn't even get to watch the game <laughs> there was so much going on i turned the tv on couldn't even see it and i'm paying all this money for cable i couldn't even see the game i got the espn app couldn't even watch it on the app that's crazy another story in itself <laughs> but from what i saw the clip it looked like lebron got fouled at that last last play another one they didn't call all good listen i just want to say this to the laker nation right Next year, Lord willing, revenge season. We'll come back bigger and better. You know, shout out to Rob Palenka for the changes that he made. It was phenomenal. Remember, at one point, y'all, they didn't even think we was making the playoffs at all. We made the play-in. We won the play-in. We knocked off Memphis, and we knocked off the champs. Now, I'm going to tell you the reason, Rod. The real reason why we didn't beat the Denver Nuggets, it wasn't because they was better than us. Our squad was much better. To be honest, I, uh, some of our members had off games, to be honest. And Denver, you know, a lot of these guys were on streaks. Jokic was killing. I mean, he's shout out to Denver, not taking nothing away from them. But the key to the game, like I said in the last video, right, or the video before, was rebounding. We got out-rebounded every game. I don't care how great you are. You know, how talented you are, how skillful you are. You're not going to win no games if you're getting clobbered on the boards. And we got clobbered on the boards defensively, and we got clobbered on the boards offensively. So shout out to King Goat, Goat James. Shout out to AD. Shout out to the whole new crew that's there. D'Angelo Russell. You know, people would knock. Oh, they, it was no, 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 no. Remember, let's not forget, D'Angelo Russell put us in a position, whether in Memphis or Golden State, to even be in this position. He just had an off series. It happens. It happens. Shout out to my man Tristan Thompson. It was good to see him suit up and everything. Shout out to Darvin Ham. You know, um, his first year, he did a, you know, he, he did a phenomenal, phenomenal, excuse me, my tongue. He did a phenomenal job. <laughs> I, I'm going to move on from that word. He did, a, let's just say he did a great job for what he had, you know, once again, shout out to Rob Palenka with the changes that he made, you know, shout out to Westbrook, shout out to uh, Patrick Beverly and everything like that. Great, great players take nothing away from them. It just didn't work out for whatever reason. So may the Lord bless them and their families as always. And shout out to Westbrook, man. People say what they want to say, but that guy, imagine his off season preparing and training is amazing. Listen, you, you, Guys, I want y'all to realize all the stuff Westbrook, Westbrook had injuries like Derrick Rose in a sense. And his rehab, his I mean, he is dedicated. You know, he was think about it. He was dedicated. He had one off year, but it's never like uh Stephen A. Smith was saying, shout out to him, that he didn't give over 110%. Whether he was off or not, he still was explosive and he he never gave up. He just kept going. So shout out to him and Patrick Beverly, you know, his presence and everything. Shout out to him as well. You know, shout out to Denver. I always say, like in the last video, we should have never got rid of Caldwell Pope. We should have never got rid of Caruso. Shout out to him. But listen, I guess, you know, maybe they'll get him back. Maybe they'll get Kyle Kuzma back. Maybe they'll get, uh, what's this guy name? Um, oh, man, Brandon Ingram. He's a beast. Well, listen, blessing in disguise. The, the squad that we got now is good enough to win the chip next year. Only thing we got to do is, once again, utilize the big man that we had. Hopefully, we can get Dwight Howard back, too, for some rebounding. Rebounding is the key. So, uh, um, shout out to the Lakers for a great, great comeback season. We fell short, you know. I think the first two games we blew. Um, the third game, you know, I ain't going to lie. The, the third game, Jamal Murray, man, he was on fire. The fourth game, I didn't get to see, you know. Um, and... Uh, like like uh, the rest of the in NBA inside crew said, yo, the Denver, I, I don't think they was a better team. I think they just showed up more. You know, I think they out-rebounded, which gave them more opportunity, especially offensively, you know, to score. 
So take nothing away from them. But the team that rebounds the most is usually the team that's going to win. So shout out to them. Shout out to each and every one of you on this T-Mobile Taco Tuesday. Have a great week. Be safe. Be blessed. Remember, nothing is guaranteed in life, not even life itself. You could be working today, not working tomorrow. You know, you could be here today, going tomorrow, maybe even going today. Make the most of every to every opportunity while you have it. Encourage one another, build one another up, stay humble, stay prayerful, and regardless what regardless of whatever happens on in life, like the holy apostle once taught us, keep marching, keep moving forward. All right? Peace and blessings, y'all. Peace. In Jesus' name.